Hey guys, it's Peter Jordan with Lost Angler, and today we are out here at Five Rivers, and we're taking a look at the new canoe Pursuit. We're going to be checking out the stability factor, how well does it paddle, how well does it paddle, and just some other features. We've done a lot in the store to check to see how it all does. Uh, one of the big things I get is since it's a narrower boat, how stable is the boat? I'm 230 pounds, and this is more than fine for me. It's easy for me to stand up and move around. Uh, I also like the fact that once I get to where I'm going with the pedal drive, I can stand up and sight fish with it, which is great if I'm fly fishing. So that's a big deal. We've talked in length about the way the pivot drive works, so we're going to test it on the water here directly. So right now, I'm going to bring you guys with me in the boat, and we're going to get a feel for it. We're going to start with just paddling it, and in order to paddle it so we have a true feel for how it paddles, I'm going to take the pivot drive and I'm going to bring it all the way up and then I'm going to retract the drive unit itself so I don't have any resistance in the water. I do have some added weight but the pivot drive doesn't add as much as I do so we'll be fine. So let's get out in the water and let's give it a go. Okay guys, I hope you guys can see, I've got the uh, pedal drive in the stowed position. And I've got the pin that holds everything we need. Got it right here, just for safety, I'm gonna set it down with my feet. I don't have really access with the way this is set up right now. To be able to do uh, foot pegs or to access the hill cups. But the way this is sitting right here with the pedal drive, it's not bad at all, it's very comfortable. So I'm going to start paddling, and uh, we're using the new canoe, uh, 260 to 280 adjustable paddle. So, uh oh, So it does make it a little bit tougher to paddle with the pedal drive in because I am having to put my my knees at a different situation. I'm going to adjust the paddle length out a little bit. So now I've extended it so it'll give me a better low angle paddle stroke, which I've paddled a lot of flat water, so that's going to be pretty helpful. We'll try to edit this to make it so it's not such a bear to watch. So I'm moving pretty quick. You know, I've just got momentum going now. You can kind of see by the bank moving pretty quickly. It doesn't take very much effort to get the boat up and running. I think if I had the, if I was able to use um, the, uh, the heel cups, or if I was able to use uh, the foot pegs, I think it'd be very, very comfortable. I think you really get some speed going in this one. Uh, stability factor, let's kind of stand up. Let's take a look. I'm in the new canoe pursuit again, like I said, and we're just gonna try the stand up. How comfortable is it to stand up? How easy it's to stand up? Show you what we're in, we're just in the boat. Nice and comfortable. I don't have any stand up aids, like I don't have the uh, casting bar or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to stand up real quick before we get blown into the weeds. All right. And I stood up very easily. No problem. Very easy to do. I've got good stability. I can move around in the boat nicely. And now I'm going to sit down. See how easy it is to sit down. You can do this all day long. It's really a simple setup. It's really easy. Get out of these weeds. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we've got the pivot drive up out of the way. So yeah, obviously I can't pedal with it right here. So let's bring it back to the position. If you'll notice, I've marked on my pivot drive here 
in here so I know what's comfortable to me and I can get it set to the position I like uh, for when I'm uh, putting it back up. So I'm just gonna come up here, grab it, slide it on back, wait till it gets into that position. All right, now I'm gonna take that same, same pin, put it in, boom, locked in nicely. And now I'm in a good position. So I'm gonna release the drive unit. Heard that kabloop. And we are good to go, we are. Now I will say it does take some getting used to with the pivot drive because what you're looking at is if you're trying to over horse it or you're trying to work it too hard, you are going to kind of like you hit a back wall. And what it is is as you extend your foot to here and you're trying to push forward here, there is kind of that moment of hesitation where it's not a, like a super clean transition. So what you want to do is you want to really concentrate on... Um, your technique more than anything else so I kind of show you how I'm sitting and relaxing but once you get that technique down you find where you're comfortable at you can really really move ah. all right so we got the pedal drive going nice and comfortable and there's not any real resistance you have to work on your technique but you can see that that drive unit behind me gives for a, just a ridiculous amount of uh, like how well it turns right and once you get used to it it's a very comfortable stroke it does take some getting used to there is a learning curve so I would say if this was like a, if I compare it to style fishing I would say that the pivot drive is like fly fishing once you get the stroke down it's really nice you can do whatever you want to but there is a learning curve so do just do keep that in mind all right, so now we're going to turn it. And this sucker turns on a dime, man. All right, and just to redo that real quick, I'm going to go in reverse, and I've turned the pivot drive, so it's going different. And now I'm back in drive again, and I've just got insane maneuverability. Uh, there is, like I said, there is a... There's definitely a learning curve that goes with it, but it's not a bad one. What you want to do instead is and try to, instead of trying to just see how fast you can go, you want to work on your technique. And if you work on the technique, you'll get that speed. I can promise you that. Because man, we are, I am moving nicely. And it's comfortable, it's not bad. I really like it, man, because my knees are shot. This is something I can do all day. And I'm covering a lot of water. This turned out to be a lot faster boat than I expected. I knew it was supposed to be fast, but I didn't think it was gonna be this fast. And the faster the boat is, the less work it is. And I like, I like easy, man. So we're gonna come up to the dock. See if you guys can see. Coming up to the dock right here. That's maneuverability right there, dude. That is sweet. <sighs> so exciting. So exciting. I was actually out here earlier with Mr. Nathan Rich from Southern Salt Kayak Fishing, like I said earlier. So he'll be uploading that video later today. He's a, he's a lot more serious YouTuber than I am. And, uh, dude, it's awesome. It's awesome. But I got to get back to the store right now because somebody's trying to buy a flint. I'm trying to buy a new new canoe. And I need him to have it. So we'll see you at the store. I hope we see you soon. Again, my store is in Daphne, Alabama. Uh, you can reach out to me. Uh, just go to deltamarineandoutfitters.com or you can reach me for the fly shop at lostangler.net. And I look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I look forward to talking to you.